Hey friends, Tux here. This is a by request video. People ask me about computers I've used in the past and some of my favorite laptops and things. And this one goes back a ways, but this is something you probably can find on eBay. Fairly cheap. It's a Dell Studio 17 laptop. And around the 2000 8-ish period, 2010, 11, you know, Dell were really big on their studio line of laptops. And these were laptops which actually supported some really good screens and good quality. Now this one, keep in mind, I haven't used it for, you know, several years and it still does work just after sitting forever, you know, like it hasn't been turned on in like two years plus. And I haven't really done a lot of cleaning up on it. I just kind of wanted to show it to you in its natural and dirty state. This is how it looks after being stored for about two and a half years in a laptop bag. But I wanted to talk about this because this really is a great little powerhouse of a laptop. And this type of thing you probably can find on eBay and get it ridiculously cheap, okay? Now, before I go any further, I want to talk about the outside. Um, Dell were doing this thing with like different case covers and this one here is kind of interesting if you look really closely you'll see there's kind of a pattern of like almost like bike chain like if you look at a bike chain it's like a little pattern like those little gears of a bike chain it's very interesting and Dell did have a number of different uh, case covers you could slap on here some with colors some with artwork uh, a lot of interesting things and I always thought this was really interesting I didn't really ask for this pattern to be in my laptop um, but it was you know it it's definitely something which is really unique compared to other laptops I haven't seen a lot like that so um, that first step cover very interesting um, this is one of the ones that does still have a CD okay to keep in mind this is you know Windows uh, 7 ish and they did still have like CVD, DVD rewrites. Uh, one of the interesting call out is I noticed like a little bit of almost like rust forming, uh, kind of like on the metal part right around there. I don't know if you could see that. So that might be something worth watching here, but a um, very slim line, very cool approach to it. Um, it does have a spot here for a memory card, which is, this is like a, a dummy Dell card they stick in to keep dust from getting in the hole, you know? Um, there is a little uh, older style USB uh, piece right there. Um, there is a USB, USB power button, okay? And it looks like I'm missing a little chunk here. Um, I don't know when this happened, maybe it fell or something, um, but I don't really recall the, the bezel being cracked or anything, but it's interesting. Um, the battery itself is not the best after time. Um, it does have a subwoofer right here. So I thought it was always kind of cool having a, a JBL subsystem in a laptop, which this has that option and it actually has a subwoofer. So for being a laptop, it actually sounds pretty rocking. You know, it sounds good. Um, there's plenty of little vents here for speakers air, everything to come through. There is a button here for battery, which you can see is kind of corroded away. And of course, some of the feet, the little rubber feet are starting to kind of deteriorate and fall off. Although some are perfectly fine, which is kind of interesting. Um, the actual laptop itself on this side here does feature a lot of, lot of uh, different types of attachments. We got ethernet, we have like a digital, like a uh, video, old style video. Um, we have a uh, display port, which is very, very early for display port. HDMI, that's crazy, like for 2008. That was actually a really good feature. Another adapter, which I'm really not even sure what that one is for. I think that's some kind of hard drive attachment. Um, there's a thing for doing Wi-Fi. Uh, there's a thing for like a compact flash card. And this is another like little dummy card that kind of fills the hole, if you will. And then there is holes here for microphone, headphone, and uh, I believe audio. Okay, so there's a lot of like nice little expansions here. Um, over time, you can see this type of cover here did have kind of a rubberized side to it, which hasn't really lived up that well to the test of time. But all in all, this is still like a really good little laptop. And the fact the hinges still work, it still vents, it still boots up, it's pretty amazing. Um, let me go ahead and open this up here for you. And we'll go ahead and show. Now the screen itself is a very good, it's RGB screen. And that was an extra option I did when I bought this. This laptop when purchased was, I want to say it was somewhere around 2,300 bucks. So at the time it was kind of an expensive laptop, but I bought it with the idea that I'd be using this laptop for, for many years. And actually I did. Actually it lasts me much longer than other laptops around that era. So that was really good. Um, I just stopped using laptops probably around 2013-ish, you know, and I pretty much used desktops after that point. Now the actual um, keyboard itself is illuminated. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, maybe I'll show this in the dark. 
um, it should give it an idea what it looks like, but it's one basic kind of like white light behind it. So it is possible to use this in the dark. Um, that is a nice touch. It does have like a soft touch eject, which actually I've had problems ejecting things a little bit. I think because it kind of is in a boot up mode or was looking for drivers and that was kind of an issue. So upon you know first boot up after two and a half years, it really did not necessarily want to boot. You can see the Windows screen, very vibrant, beautiful colors. Like maybe I should pull this up here and give you a, a closer look. I mean, really, really nice looking star for any uh, bad camera angles. Just trying to show this. Um, really beautiful, no dead pixels. Everything's looking good. Now the keyboard itself, like I mentioned, is a JBL uh, sound system. So pretty cool. It actually includes that, you know, branded JBL plus SRS premium audio sound. So very cool. We have JBL branded speakers here and over here. Um, the actual uh, bezel here, this part does have that, that little like bike chain artwork to it too. I don't know if you can see that real well, but that is also from the cover onto here, which is cool. Now this type of keyboard, this like chiclet style keyboard is like a crumb magnet. Okay. And again, I didn't clean this. So um, you can see there's all sorts of little crumbs and stuff in it, but it's, it's amazing that it actually still works like amazingly well. There's no like dead keys, no keys have popped off or broke off or anything. It's actually looking really solid, you know, on um, this particular studio disc feature, an ATI video card. And I did have a little bit of a problem at first where I had to reinstall drivers to get this to boot up um, to this beautiful Windows screen um, because it sat for two and a half years. And I think the actual, it does, it's not SSD, it's a normal laptop style hard drive. And I think in time it started kind of going corrupt a little bit. So I did have to reformat Windows using the original Dell disk. Um, but all in all, this really fantastic little laptop. I mean, so many things to love. Um, everything is very customizable. It easily picked up to Windows. I mean, this has a Bluetooth built in, which was really technologically not heard of around that time. Um, you know, Wi-Fi, of course, Ethernet, all the usual niceties you'd expect from a laptop of that 2000, you know, eight to 12-ish era, you know, and just a really good, strong laptop. It's held up really well. And one thing I really do like is these, these two buttons here are the type that they're not connected. It's not like a, a, a teeter-totter that goes one way or the other. They're two independent buttons. There's a little bit of wear and tear here on the pad, but again, this laptop has gotten a lot of use. And this isn't just a laptop for doing like Excel spreadsheets, which by the way, this screen is amazing for Excel spreadsheets. It plays games. Like I've been playing World of Warcraft, Command and Conquer, like you name a game from that era and I've played it on here. Like this thing can handle any game. And I would go as far as to say that if I was to download WoW right now, I bet you this thing would still play WoW, which is pretty amazing. So I uh, gotta give Dell kudos for that. And this is kind of like not even an XPS, like the studio line was somewhere between the basic like Dell business models and the actual S XPS model. So it was kind of there in the middle ground. And um, the fact that it's held up to the test of time this well, you know, with everything, uh, camera, biometrics, I mean, everything is all kind of in here. This one did not have, did not feature the little fingerprint reader, which I did kind of miss that a little bit compared to some previous Dell models, but all in all, just a really amazing model. And I would go as far as to say, again, if you find this on eBay, as long as it says like works, you know, this is a laptop, which you could definitely use for school, for work, for anything. It definitely is compatible with, you know, current Windows upgrades, current software. I don't think I'd have any problem running things on this laptop, even in 2021. Okay, the time of recording this video, this laptop, the Studio 17 from Dell, is available on eBay for somewhere around 88 to about $160. So really a really good value. But also I want to play the audio quality here. Of course, you know I can't play copyright music on YouTube, but here's one of my videos, one of my last Tux Toys videos, and I just want to have you hear the audio quality. This laptop sounds pretty darn good from a, a 10 year old plus laptop, okay? Check this out, check out the JBL speakers in action. All right, friends, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>
good treble, and it sounds even better in person. I wanted to show you the keys a little bit too. You can kind of see how they're illuminated here. They are lit up from underneath. You can kind of see a white light underneath them there. See the white light kind of shining through underneath. So this is definitely an illuminated keyboard and a lot of buttons up here are illuminated as well, which is nice. Now the actual screen itself is really beautiful actually. Really beautiful blue. Check out the nice hue of blue there. Looking very, very good for being a 10 plus year old RGB screen. Another little feature which I really should add here is I've always liked the way the power cord is illuminated so you can tell here if there is power going to the power cord. That is a nice touch. And the actual on off switch here is illuminated as well. So just a few little touches from Dell. Um, it's great how they actually have this so well worked out with all the lights and everything. It makes it just a pleasure to use in the dark. And again, that screen is just really Really, really beautiful, I have to say. So really good stuff. Um, great laptop. Um, so many positive things to say. I really don't know where to stop talking about this because it's just, it's a nice little laptop. I love my current Asus. But before that, this was my little baby, okay? So pretty good deal. Check it out on eBay.